an Oklahoma mother and daughter arrested after alleged incestuous marriage. More signs of the return of Jesus Christ. A mother and daughter in Duncan, Oklahoma are accused of having an incestuous marriage. Patricia Spann, 43, and Misty Spann, 25, were married in March 2016 in Comanche County, court records show. Police say Patricia is Misty's biological mother. Investigators with the Department of Human Services discovered the illegal relationship in August while investigating the children who were inside the Span's home. Misty and her two brothers were raised by a grandparent when Patricia lost custody of them, an arrest affidavit states. The DHS investigator told authorities that Patricia and Misty reunited two years ago. Patricia told officials she didn't think she was breaking any laws by marrying Misty because her name is no longer listed on her daughter's birth certificate. A warrant was issued for their arrests on Friday. Since then, Patricia and Misty have both been arrested and booked into the Stevens County Jail for incest, a detective told KFOR News. Bond was set at $10,000 for each of the Span women. They're due in court next month. In Oklahoma, incest is a felony, and if convicted, is punishable up to 10 years in prison. Court records show this isn't the first time Patricia has married one of her own children. She also married one of her sons in 2008. However, court records show that marriage was annulled in March 2010. Question, do you think it is wrong for a parent to marry one of their children? Are these the signs that Jesus Christ foretold would occur at the end of the age? If you'd never had reason to believe in God, now is the time. The Bible has prophesied events like this. This and many other events that are occurring in this world should be proof enough that God is real and that his word is true. If you don't know Jesus Christ, and you have not accepted him as Lord and Savior, please get to know him and accept God's free gift salvation. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment below. We'd like to hear your thoughts.